Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. I have the vlog today. I also had a interesting experience today. <laughs> um, I finally got to unload a truck using the forklift. Uh, so I was driving in and out of a semi-trailer, and uh, that was a uh, interesting experience. Um, wasn't too bad. Um, I was a little nervous about it at first. Um, somebody else had kind of given me some uh, advice on uh, how to go about it. And the person who was supposed to actually help me uh, the first time around, you know, give me some advice and, and you know, sort of help train me, uh, had left already. So uh, this is why I was doing it um, basically by myself. Uh, <laughs> But somebody had given me advice of, of making sure that my forks were lifted before I drove into uh, a trailer. Um, because the way ours is set up, uh, there's actually a, a dip down into the trailer. Uh, and she mentioned that uh, if I didn't have my forks up, there was a chance of digging the forks into the bed of the trailer. Uh, so I was very uh, careful about keeping the forks up when I drove in. Um, but I, I was a little slower than a lot of them are in unloading a, tr a truck. But uh, it's because this was first time out and uh, I didn't want to make any mistakes. <laughs> so I was going a little slow. But uh, I managed to get it all unloaded. Um, and not too bad of a, a time of it. Um, but it was it was just one of those things that uh, the guy that normally does the work, um, you know, of unloading the trucks and everything, he had just left when uh, Estes, the, the delivery company uh, truck, showed up. So, and I looked around and, and asked about it, and, uh, you know, he had already left for the day. Um, I was on my way out. Um, you know, I, I had stuck around just a little bit. Um, to make sure things were done, I, you know, was just heading out with uh, one of our carts to deliver it before I, you know, clocked out and left, and uh, realized that the Estes truck had arrived because uh, we're supposed to be out at three. He showed up right at three, basically. So, um, but I went, you know, delivered the cart that I had, came back over got a forklift and started unloading and uh, so now we have I think about four it's about four pallets or so of parts um, for uh, tomorrow um, in the, the one salvage area because Rodney had managed to uh, completely clear off his floor today so there was nothing you know which was a good thing, um, you know, this was what was, you know, being asked of him, because he's not going to be here tomorrow, tomorrow is his birthday, so happy birthday, Rodney, um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's, he's taking the day off, so I'm not sure just what the plan is going to be, whether or not, um, somebody else is going to take care of the, the couple of pallets that are there, or whether they'll just be left for Rodney on Thursday, along with whatever comes tomorrow, possibly. But uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll be over there tomorrow, and uh, I'll get to do the work of uh, salvaging the cabinets that came in tonight and possibly unloading the uh, truck again tomorrow. So uh, we'll see. <laughs> um, anyways, um, I think that's going to do it. Uh, I'm going to go... <sighs> stop at one of the uh, convenience stores and get uh, a couple of drinks, uh, one for me and one for my wife, and uh, then I'll go home and we'll have uh, some leftovers for dinner, uh, watch a little TV, go to bed, and start it all over again tomorrow. Yay! So, anyways, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below, subscribe, we will see you again tomorrow. Have a great evening.